K tutorial number one, defining lambda, lesson six. Here we show how to define selective strictness of language constructs, that is, how to state that certain language constructs are strict only in some arguments. We also show how to use anonymous variables. We next define a conditional if construct, which takes three arguments, evaluates only the first one, and then reduces to either the second or the third, depending on whether the first one evaluated to true or to false. K allows to define selective strictness using the same strict attribute, but passing it a list of numbers. The numbers correspond to the arguments in which we want the defined construct to be strict. In our case, strict of one states that the conditional construct is strict in the first argument. We can now assume that its first argument will eventually reduce to a value, so we only write the following two semantic rules. Thus, we assume that the first argument evaluates to either true or false. Note the use of the anonymous variable underscore. We use such variables purely for structural reasons to state that something is there, but we don't care what. An anonymous variable is therefore completely equivalent to a normal variable, which is unsorted and different from all the other variables in the rule. If you use underscore multiple times in a rule, they will all be considered distinct. Compile lambda.k and write and execute some interesting expressions making use of the conditional construct. For example, the expression if 2 less than or equal to 1, then 3 divided by 0 else 10, evaluates to 10 and will never evaluate 3 divided by 0, thus avoiding an unwanted division by 0. In the next lesson, we will introduce two new language constructs, called let and let rec and conventionally found in functional programming languages, which will allow us to already write interesting lambda programs.